Hello and welcome back to the 2 minute revision series in which we talk about the most important topics for the PG entrance examination. Well this time we'll be taking care of the median nerve. Well median nerve it leaves the cubital fossa as the most medial content and then it passes deep to the flexor retinaculum as a content of carpal tunnel and then supplies all the thinar muscles except adductor pollicis in hand. Median nerve before Entering into the flexor retinaculum or deep to the flexor retinaculum, it also gives off a branch which is called as a palmar cutaneous branch that supplies the skin on the lateral three and a half side of the palm, but not the fingers, only of the palm. Median nerve in forearm, it gives off a branch called as an anterior interosseous nerve, the nerve which will take care of the deeper muscles of the anterior compartment of the forearm. The main median nerve in the forearm supplies superficial flexors and one of the important superficial flexors to be remembered from here is flexor digitorum superficialis whereas the anterior interosseous nerve will take care of the deeper muscles which includes flexor digitorum profundus just the lateral half the important thing is the lateral half and flexor pollicis longus the long muscle of the thumb. If we consider the median nerve injury at three possible sites the higher injury the lower injury like in carpal tunnel syndrome and a deeper injury like injury to anterior interosseous nerve. Now in case of higher median nerve injury, there will be ape thumb deformity because the uh, thinar muscles are involved and also because the radial side flexors are involved. So there will be either pointing index finger or there will be hand of benediction while making a fist. While making a fist, there will be hand of benediction or pointing index finger. If it is a distal injury that again it will lead to the ape thumb deformity obviously there will be no pointing index finger in this case but the important thing is because palmar cutaneous branch is spared so there will be no sensory loss on the lateral three and a half of the palm there will be sensory loss on the digits but there is no sensory loss on the lateral three and a half of the palm and finally if there is injury to anterior interosseous nerve because the deep flexors are involved the flexors which are responsible for flexing the distal interphalangeal joint of the index finger and the thumb so there will be weak okay sign there will be weak okay sign if the anterior interosseous nerve is involved 